Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting ring to episode one and two of the Managatari series, our Buck and Managatari. Um, okay, so I only really know a few things about this series. I The first one is, I think this is the show that has the erotic toothbrush scene. I think Gigi talked about it, and I was like, what the fuck is this show? Um, two, I know the blonde girl who, um, is in the show was a vampire, I believe. And three, the girl who I use as my intro, I kind of, someone kind of told me some ish about her, like, a while back ago. So, um, I, I, I know what kind of happens to her. So, yeah! <laughs> Which is kind of fucked up. And, I mean, this was a series that I was possibly going to watch with my boyfriend, or by myself as, like, on my own time whenever I could. But no, it's like, mm, get ready to watch a hundred fucking episodes, DJ. <laughs> but other than that, let's go ahead and get started in three, two, one, go. I really have no fucking clue what to expect with this show. Okay. I, I do know that the blonde hair girl is like top tier waffle for this series and also um the long purple head girl. Both of those two. Like a lot of people are in dead ass in love with both of them. Yes. Blood. Oh, okay. Did she just die? Isn't that the blind girl? Uh I'm already confused. <laughs> Only a couple minutes in. What is going on? Um. <laughs> I'm on drugs, aren't I? I'm a, there must have been something in this. Like, mm. <laughs> oh, that's going to make me dizzy. Oh, hey, is that her? Yeah, that is her! How, girl, how the heck you already falling down? What? Mm mm. Mm mm. Do we even know the reason of why she's falling? No, not right now we don't. But he's gonna catch her, of course. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Also, I got these videos from Kiss Anime, so if the subs are bad, let me know before episode three and four. Because I was gonna record three and four Thursday, but I might wait until Sunday to record the next two. Okay, so I'm a little curious. Like, I, 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 I don't know what the fuck to say about it already. I'm just confused right now. I do know there's one more thing I forgot to say. This series did a collab with the Monica Magica game that's going to be coming to, um, coming worldwide this summer and i just want the cards <laughs> that's all i want so i know when i get the game i'm gonna have to say like hell because one day i was like bored and i like looked through the whole like all these magical girls and then i heard the intro the song to the intro that i'm using and i was like oh that's from that series i was like oh, okay and I'm just I'm like yeah this is going to be one of those trippy animes, ain't it? Like, I, I, I don't know anymore. I, and this is going to be a hundred episodes. 
and I'm going to try to get this done in like 50 weeks. I don't even think that's an humanly impossible, DJ. We're going to try. <laughs> that's all we're going to try. So probably next week I'm going to have to watch like four episodes in a week. So we're not going to continue off where, you know, the girl fell and shit. Okay, so also, let me guess, is this a harm? There's a whole bunch of girls and there's one freaking guy and they're all going to fall in love with him and then he's only going to have to choose one? See, I don't always like it when some animes do it like in third person, but I mean, it, it's different. Mmm, you say that. Another question. Is this going to be like some time travel? Because I, I feel it. Like a lot of things are going to happen in this series. Like probably to understand the rest. Like I'm going to have to go back and forth just to understand this series as a whole. Okay, so that is him. Okay, so then what happened between middle school and high school for her to be silent? This ain't fucking Hadahi Suzumiya, goddammit. Like, it, it, but I feel like we going in that route. It's gonna be weirder than Hadahi.
Okay, so is Hanakawa also in love with him too? I mean, because she was dead in the in the whatever that was in the beginning. I'm... Love her. Oh shoot! What is your problem? How about you kind of take it out of his mouth and... Um... This girl using a staple, what the fuck is wrong with her? So is she like Yuri from freaking, um, Doki Doki Literature Club? Uh, okay. What? See, I'm gonna have to, like, there's a weird feeling that, like, probably what I'm gonna have to do is, like, Every single time, like when I'm done watching the episode, I have to go back and like reread all these parts that they're like stolen for a second. And, like, uh -uh. All right, yeah, mm -hmm. just <laughs> bitch, I would have. This girl crazy. She might be a little worse than Yuri. <sighs> yeah, but, um... Really? We, now we go in, like... <laughs> my Yuri with bananas? Yeah, because when they were talking, there was a banana peel on the floor. Not really. I think he just wants to talk. Like, calm down. Calm down. Like, come down here. Like, to the floor, please. You got problems.
Turn the fuck around. It healed. You probably gonna be a little yonder as well. Maybe I don't know. It's only half the story, but you know, get a little crazy. But I feel like we're gonna meet someone who's probably crazier than her. I will say I like the aesthetics of the show. Mm -hmm. No, I don't think he did. Mm -hmm. How the hell you get that? Okay. That's all I have to say is oh fucking K. So he was also in the first part, too. So slowly but surely, we're going to meet everybody who was in this opening.
hold on, wait, 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 wait the fuck up. There she is. That's Cosima. That is, so, that is, that's so him. That's gotta be him. I think somebody told me that. But I think that's him. Okay, hold on, but Shinobu was older in the beginning, so now she's younger. <laughs> what, she is a vampire, isn't she? She's pale as fuck. Well, let me stop. Okay, what the fuck did she need to do besides, like, what the hell are you going to do to help her? <laughs> okay, um, so I am hella confused with this series. It's still interesting as heck, but, so you're telling me a crab made her five kilo kilograms? The fuck? Just that and then the freaking beginning of that. Is that supposed to be things that are going to happen later on? Like, so Sheena was going to be older and she's going to grow up and stuff, maybe? I don't know. So is each season, or there's three seasons in total, but it's a list of shows. Plus there's like three movies, which I think I'm going to watch those on my own because I don't think I'm going to have time to watch it. Um... Each one focuses on a girl, right? Because there's like several different freaking openings 
to this dang series. So this part focuses on her. Crazy girl. The Yuri Cinderite girl. Like, because she reminds me a little too goddamn much of Yuri a lot. I mean, remember what, how the heck you fit in all this school supplies and everything inside of you? That's like when I used to watch like stupid videos or like, oh my god, world's dumbest. And women be like hiding ish in like the weirdest places. I'm like, how are you holding that with your thighs? I got a lot of fucking questions. A lot of questions. And I'm going to need a lot of like explaining it, 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 ish. Because um, you, your girl going to be like, uh, I, like, I don't want you guys to immediately hand me the answers, but, like, give me hints. But what the fuck? Episode 2. Um. Okay. Just, mm-hmm. 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 This is that one type of show that is really gonna make me think. And, like, literally for me to get my answers, I'm gonna have to look ish up. Like, a lot of ish. What the fuck? So the one thing I am hoping like with this episode because this episode is like now what 20 something minutes it's gonna be 50 some 51 minutes long and i don't want to be too too long because i can only like literally cord an hour so i'm kind of praying that this time doesn't like end in a really awkward point where it's like ah and then i have to add something with it because i think for me to make the video a little bit longer like how i normally do with my videos and i talk extra to make it longer I'm going to have to add, like, once this video's over, stop it, save it, then add another one, and just go on from that. Like, I wasn't expecting these two episodes together to be, like, 51 minutes long. I'm thinking, okay, this is going to be, like, 47 minutes. No. <laughs> So it's gonna be a long time until we get to what's the face is opening, right? Like two, three seasons? Or like arcs and it's I don't know. I mean, but like you guys know how much I love that opening. It's so cute. <laughs> Holy shit. Okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. 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 <laughs> but that's still helping. I love me. Oh. Could you not like keep your hands out like that? Like, no. Yeah, all I hear is fucking Cosmo.
He seems very emo. <laughs> you have to move your <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> mm, you sure about that? <laughs> So I'm guessing also with this series, there's going to be, like, a lot of fan servicey moments. I mean, because we had an episode one with the panty shot. We have this now. And then I feel like the vampire girl is going to have, like, a really weird fan service moment. And then I'm just going to be like, why? Okay, so she's from the future. We got a vampire. We gonna have a robot in this series too? A succubus? Um, what was what's her face from Interview with Monster Girls? Um, a Dulahain? Uh, a, a Snow Woman? We gonna have that too? <laughs> and it's okay to be a virgin, you know. Dude from uh, Buddy Girls, a virgin. And then you're also telling me that this show was almost on air for like 10 years. The fuck? <laughs> Yeah, I don't think she's an idiot. She's just different.
Got you. Okay. Because of the fact that she's so light. But see, that's weird, though. What the fuck is this show? I mean, but then, okay, if every, if clothes are supposed to be light, like, couldn't your bra and underwear be light, too? I mean, uh, like, heavy as fuck, too? I mean, why does she just wear her school uniform if that's going to be, like, she's fine with that. That's great with her. This is the weirdest fucking series I've ever fucking watched. I mean, goddamn, what the fuck is this shit? And I know it's supposed to get even better and better, but like, hello? <laughs> like, I'm gonna go to bed tonight, and I'm literally gonna be thinking about this. I'm just thinking about, Deja, what the heck did you watch earlier tonight? I don't know! Like, I have never been so confused about an anime before. <laughs> like, oh my god. No, the last time I was this confused about the sh about a show was Steins Gate. And that is kind of like, oh. <laughs> but this. <laughs> Okay, good. a good question. Okay. Are we ever going to see the crab? <clears throat> Do we really have to play this music? <laughs> Unless someone's dying. Are they going to have to drink something? Is she going to drink that? Okay. It's okay. It's fine. You got an adult. They ain't probably going to do anything to you.
So, um, Hitagi might be my best girl, even though she's creepy as fuck, but that's okay. I like the creepy characters. Until I learn more about the vampire girl. I don't think she wants to answer. Okay. Okay. Um, see? Mm-hmm. No. There's got to be more. I mean, but, like, even the way that she says it, it's so calmly. Because she said that in the beginning of this episode. It's like, okay, no, no, no. I'm thinking that she's playing. But then it's like, no, no, no. She really means her mother joined a cult. The fuck? Mm-hmm. Did you push him off? Okay, good. All right, good, good. Oh. Was she exiled? But then you wouldn't be able to trust any guy that you would have been able to meet later on because of the fact that you've gotten away. Well, see, we need, um, Yato, come get this shit. I don't, I got, you don't see shit. It's just, it's right there. Yeah, because it has. Oh, sh. I mean, damn, she could have died right then and there. Yo, you gonna fight the crab? Okay. No, no, no. They easy to eat. Even though I don't like crabs like that. I'll take some crab legs, though, because they're good as fuck.
Gleichfalls. And so she went to a cult. Holy shit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so when she was raped. See, this is like, um, oh my god, what's that one Japanese movie that, like, got remade in America? I don't, Shudder! There we go. Yeah, like, the girl was sitting on him and stuff, like, it's like that, but the, the crab is just there, she weighs, I, I don't know. You silly. So is her arc now done and we're gonna go to somebody else for two episodes? Is that how we doing it? I mean she's still gonna be here, but we're gonna focus on different girls, like you know. Oh, she's really cute when she smiles. <laughs> okay, just still, like, what the fuck is this show? I mean, uh, <laughs> I, I'm just, you know. I'm going to have to look up some more ish about this. And I think I'm not going to be able to do it like after I'm done watching this episode because I got to watch k -On next. But before I do, I got to like, I, I got to tweet something because like this, it's a very mind fuckery show. And I think it's like literally a like now for me, number one, Science Gate was number one until like I figured everything out slowly but surely. But this this is the biggest mindfuck I've ever, like, watched in this series. Like, for her to hold, like, all this emotion, and it, it, it's gonna weigh a ton on her, and just the only way for her to, like, uh, apologizing and stuff, but, like, I, I don't know. I really don't know. I mean, it's good as hell, but it is also confusing as hell. And well, y'all find out on Friday when this comes out for Patreon, and then the rest of y'all, y'all see this Monday. And I know a lot of people are going to be like, oh, it's so obvious, DJ. I'm going to be like, no. No. Because I need explanations. Like, 
you telling me, like, if you watch these first two episodes, when you watched this show, when this show first came out, you were not confused about this. If you were not confused and asked so many freaking questions, <clears throat> I've seen that outfit. Oh, I, I know where I've seen that outfit before. There's a figure of her and Madoka together. And Madoka's wearing her outfit, and then I think she's wearing Madoka's outfit. I don't really remember. But, yeah. Miami's male? Okay, and that must be her. So, yeah, it is going to go, like, in different arcs every single episode. But, which is interesting. I do like that. It does give me a lot of feels towards um Bunny Girl Senpai, where we're always meeting a different girl for each arc, and then we're going to learn... Her beginning, middle, and end is going to be like two or three episodes long. So, since this girl has had a two-episode arc, this next girl could possibly have like three episodes or four. I hope it's not going to be like 15 god dang episodes for one whole arc. That'd be a little weird. But, I mean, this like, this first part, this first arc is like 15 episodes. Another arc is like four, eight episodes. So I was like, okay, hold on. How is it like, first it's short, then it's long, and then it's short again. The, like, overall, this whole freaking series, it's a hundred episodes long. But I think what I'm going to do is probably after I'm done watching K-On! and stuff, I, I like I said, I'm going to look up a little bit more stuff, like probably really to explain this episode and the other episodes that I have. I think a lot of people are probably going to tell me, no, don't do it. If you need explanations, like, everybody will explain everything in the comments, because I know a lot of people on, like, my Patreons and people who are going to see this on Monday are literally going to have posts of, like, long behind comments and stuff, and I'm literally gonna have to, like, be up in the dead of night sitting there reading comment after comment after comment and be like, okay, so, but, I, I just, like I said, I'm really confused about this, but it's, really good. The aesthetic of it is very, very pleasing. It's, like, so different. But it's just confusing as hell, it's just as much as Steins Gate was. Until, like I said, I finally fucking understood that series. And I was like, oh, okay, it's easy now! This, it's like... No, you're not ready for this. <laughs> this is, like... I don't even know what to compare it to. I mean, I feel like this is... So many, like categories of an anime all together because it's gonna go in like so many different ways and I don't know but like I do got one question the movies that are like it's three movies are the three movies just everything of what happened all in season one possibly it's just yeah that's the last question I got. Other than that, guys, that is my reaction review towards episodes one and two of Bake Managatari. If you guys enjoyed enjoyed it please give me a like it really helps me out also subscribe to my channel i make videos every single day join the matches squad and of course i will see you guys next friday for the patreons and the following monday for everybody else bye guys